Abba Yahuwah. Today I come before your throne for grace and mercy, to pray for all who are going through work mobbing, gang stalking and satanic harassment, and ritual abuse at the workplace. I pray this for all who it would apply to, and all their workplaces, all situations and scenarios that pertain to it. I ask that you apply this prayer to every person who would benefit from it, and also to their places of work. I cover the workplace, the building itself, and the bloody Yahusha Hamashiach. From the rooftop to the foundation, may it all be saturated in the blood of our Messiah. I pray that you assign the location with ministering angels, warrior angels, angels of protection for the target, and warrior angels to all the perps to go to war with all the demons, harassing spirits, monitoring spirits, serpent seed, agents, and all that would apply here. May all who are involved in perpetrating this harassment be surrounded by warrior angels. And Abba, I put it all into your hands and I pray that whatever happens would be according to your will for each situation. I pray that you teach them all a lesson that would lead them to repentance, whatever it would take to wake them up. I pray that if there is any human being left in these vessels that you would give them an experience that would snap them out of the mind control and the lies and wake them up and warn them the results of this lifestyle and what it will lead to. May you give these perps visions, dreams, nightmares, or whatever it would take to give them a clear message and to give them a chance to make an informed decision. I pray that for all the people who are vessels of dishonor with no chance of redemption, may you show them the result of mocking you, and may they experience the evil fruits of their evil labor. Show them that you will not be mocked forever. I pray that we all be strengthened and of a sober mind regarding all of their tactics. May none of the tactics cause a reaction in us. I pray that you move through us and keep us calm and at peace no matter what, no matter what they end up doing to us. I pray that all these people involved will be given a powerful wake-up call because many of them are overcome with pride or narcissism and it will require divine intervention to make any type of change in them. If nothing else, Abba, I pray that you show them what happens when they torture innocent people. As it states in Deuteronomy 27 verse 24, Cursed is the one who attacks his neighbor secretly. Let them see the results of this. May this scripture come to life and prove to be true in their lives so that they can at least know that they are cursing themselves. And if they simply do not care, if they are serpent seed or vessels of dishonor by design, Abba, I place them into your hands. May you reveal yourself to them and terrify them in your wrath. Because from my experience, it seems many of them worship money, worship themselves, or are willing to cause harm to someone just to be a part of a club and feel as if they are God over someone else. It's a power trip for many of them. So I just pray that you knock them down a peg and show them the truth about who you are, who they really are, and how tiny and minuscule they truly are. I pray for all of those who are going through work mobbing. May we all be empowered and kept in Yahusha's perfect peace, the peace that surpasses all understanding. Abba, I pray that before work every day that you assign us with all the angels that we would need for protection, for ministering, for guidance, that we may have foresight and insight to help us to navigate these psychological mazes that we are forced into, so that we may not strike our foot against a stone, as confirmed in Psalm 91. I pray that you please help us to not fall into their traps, especially the traps that are based on us reacting negatively to their stimuli. Please keep us at perfect peace, Abba. And please do not let these evil doers continue on mocking you by torturing us because it brings no glory to you. As they continually ask us, where is your God? Let them realize that they are not getting away with anything. They are only digging themselves deeper and deeper. Show them that they are only helping enslave all of their loved ones and families. I really don't know how obvious it has to be for people to realize it. It just goes to show how blinding the veil is that Satan puts over these people's eyes. Abba, I pray that you give us the strength to resist the feeling of aggravation. And when we do become aggravated, I pray that you teach us to let it go and to release it instantly so that it doesn't build up and cause a mental and psychological anguish in us. 
I pray that you please comfort all of us who are going through this because it's often the most draining and tiring of all the tactics that happen to us. I pray that every time we walk into the building of our workplace, that it would be saturated in the blood of Yahusha HaMashiach and be filled with the Ruach HaKodesh. And I pray that the spirit is so strong in us that it prohibits the presence of demonic entities and evil spirits. May they scatter at our presence. And I pray that each coworker would be stricken with clarity. And may you download the truth into them every day and snatch any of them out of Satan's hands that you are willing to. I pray that you bless all of them with whatever it would require for them to see the truth and realize what path they are actually on and where it will lead to. Make it real obvious to them that they have been fed lies and are just being used as patsies to help usher in the enslavement of all mankind, including themselves, who are already slaves to the beast system, and they will reap what they have sown. Show them that nothing will protect them from your wrath, and show them how they will all betray them and discard them once they are done using them up. Since these perps are programmed to believe that we are crazy, delusional, insane, religious nuts, or whatever it is, I pray, Abba, that you would show them the truth personally in a way that would be susceptible to them. Shatter their false reality before their eyes because they don't realize that they are mind control slaves who are stuck on a monorail heading to the worst possible fate. I do not wish harm on these people, but I know that you will loose your wrath upon many, if not most of them, because of their blatant disregard for you their blatant disregard for human life, their void of empathy, and their willingness to hurt their neighbor for money and power. I know that your wrath is being harnessed, and I just do not wish this on them. However, they choose to continue down this path to mock you and to disregard the most simple and perfect of all instruction, which is to love your neighbor as yourself. They prefer the lie over the truth, just as it states in Roman 1 verse 25, who exchanged the truth of Yahuwah for the lie, and worshipped and served the creature rather than the Creator, who was blessed forever. By agreeing to participate in the beast system torture programs, they are having their own conscience seared with a hot iron. I pray that you stifle, hinder, and bind all the demons in them that are using them as meat suits, and bind, prevent, and stifle all of their tactics. Abba, I just pray that you please give us all the extra protection that you can on the inside and out, not only from them, their demons and their tactics, but also from negative internal dialogue, poisonous thoughts as the result of their tactics, reaction external and internal, any hatred or anger, depression or sadness, anxiety or fear that would occur due to these triggers. I bind all the harassment and all the effects thereof right now. For all that has been bound in this prayer, I loose love, peace, miracles, contentment, truth, joy, compassion, divine revelation, and intervention. Not only for us, but for the perps as well. Especially, I pray that you move through us in those moments where we are weakened by these satanic tactics. It can be very overwhelming, and they make it very difficult to keep our peace at times. This feeling can be very damaging and discouraging, so Abba, I just plead with you in this petition and ask that you help us to endure these things. Help us to have so much peace that all of their little tactics just roll right off of us, not penetrating into our nervous system. I also come against all behavioral modification that is coming through subliminal frequencies, through nanotech, or through any of this fallen angel technology. May we be in a state of peace, and may that peace be so powerful that we are disconnected from their stimuli. I pray that we all gain strength and discernment, and may you fill us with so much of your grace that we don't react at all, neither internally or externally. And I pray that you teach us not to feel negatively about them, but rather, may we be able to just see them for the vessels of dishonor that they are, the workers of iniquity. And I pray that we learn not to take it personally, but realize as it explains in Ephesians 6 verse 12. For we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of darkness of this age, against spiritual hosts of wickedness in heavenly places. Please give us a new outlook on all of this, new ways to endure, and the foresight, insight, and spiritual knowledge within us of how to not react at all, 
not feed the energy vampires, not let them siphon our energy, and all that pertains to all of this. Help us to be humbled in our work, working peacefully and cheerfully in accord with Colossians 3 verse 23, which states, And whatever you do, do it heartily, as to Yahuwah and not to men, knowing that from Yahuwah you will receive your reward of the inheritance, for you serve the Mashiach. I thank you, Abba, for strengthening us, inspiring us, and thank you for covering all of our workplaces in the blood of Yahusha. Thank you for all of the defensive and offensive angels that you will provide to us every single day during work, and I thank you for the peace that surpasses all understanding. Thank you for giving us the insight, foresight, strength, and courage to endure without reacting or giving them our energy. May they all be perfectly ignored, and may we retain all of our peace and energy. Thank you in advance for all these miracles that you will move through us, and I pray that you please adapt this prayer in accord with your will and according to what each of us need on a personal, sentimental, emotional, psychological, mental, and physical level. Thank you, Abba, for listening to my prayer. I thank you in advance for answering it and for moving in our lives. I call back from the heavens all energy and peace that has been stolen from us and siphoned from us through this program and I ask you, Abba, to replenish us and return it all to us stronger than ever. I release all frustration, anger, fear, anxiety, tension, and negative emotions that have been implemented into us through this harassment. Let it be like dust in the wind, dissipating into nothingness. I finish this prayer by asking Abba to fill us with his love and peace. And I pray that we remain in harmony in union with Yahusha HaMashiach and the Ruach HaKodesh May his spirit overwhelm our senses and detach us from the systems of control and torture that are put in place. I seal this prayer in the name of Yahusha HaMashiach. I seal it across the whole earth and across the entire timeline and across the timelines of our lives, past, present, and future, to be applied indefinitely. Thank you so much for answering this prayer and thank you for letting all of us know in a very real way that this prayer is being answered. I love you, Yahuwah. And Yahuwah loves all of you more than you can fathom. In the name of Yahusha HaMashiach, this prayer is sealed according to his finished work and shed blood. I pray, believe, and receive this protection in faith for all of us. Amen. So be it, and so it is. May you all be blessed. Endure until the end.